In a Tel Aviv drug lab, medical marijuana is getting a makeover. Ground and filtered, it's destined for a new 3D printed pot puffing device that won't get you high. We've developed the, the first meter dose cannabis inhaler, which allows 100 microgram resolution. Um, all this while using the raw cannabis without any chemical alterations or additives, which allows us to penetrate existing regulatory systems today. So no expensive clinical trials, no more guessing how much cannabis a patient needs to relieve their pain. The devices they're making here in Psyche's lab are destined for Israeli hospitals, but they hope the real money spinner will be this. It's a cannabis inhaler for home use. They hope to have it in Israeli homes next year and into the all-important American market the year after. That market, already worth about $1.4 billion, could rise to more than $10 billion by 2018. Psyche hopes to win about 2% of that, or some $200 million. But does the inhaler actually work? David Meir, a former Navy SEAL injured in Lebanon, was one of 10 Israeli patients to trial it. I'd spend whatever it takes to have this device. It doesn't show everyone else how much I'm suffering or what I'm using. It lets me decide how to take care of my health and be much more relaxed on the outside. The doctor overseeing the Psyche trial says the device could change marijuana's image. Doctors were reluctant to prescribe uh, cannabis as is, as cigarettes, because of the stigma, because of the, uh, actually you need to smoke for that. I think that uh, from now on, once uh, approved, everybody is going to look at it as a medicine as opposed to a substance that people use. With approval in Israel imminent, Psyche aims to raise up to $20 million to boost production of its device. If all goes well, it plans to apply its technology to other controlled substances, such as opium.